friends, it's me, Rhea Peterson. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a home reset. I have a very cluttered and disorganized house and the goal is to just get at least one floor of it back in order again. We've been really busy. We just celebrated my oldest son's 11th birthday. It has been a very exciting time for him and we've just had a lot going on and so I need to get caught up. So we're going to tackle some areas in the downstairs, get that all in order. I need to clean this oven. There have been some messes. So we need to take care of that. Plus, you know, just getting everything decluttered. There's games, there's birthday decorations, there's Legos just everywhere and it's time to reset it. So we're gonna be doing that. That is the goal today. We're gonna get it cleaned, and decluttered, and hopefully it'll never get messy again. So that is the plan. I am going to make a nice coffee, get a little feel going, and we're gonna get started. I think we're gonna start in the living room because that has the least amount of mess and then we will make our way through. I'm also going to share with you a new wet dry vacuum. Prosenic was very kind to send me one of their wet dry vacuums to try out and I love it. So I'm gonna share that and some details about that with you very shortly and we're gonna use it on my floors, which so desperately need it. And I wanna thank Prosenic for sponsoring this video. It is a really cool device and I'm very excited. If you're new here, I am really glad you're here. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out. I have more back to school stuff going on because unfortunately it is inevitable, it is happening. We have to face it. Let's rip the bandaid off, get it over with. Plus, fall. I know people have opinions about fall decorations and when they put it out and I noticed recently that some of the leaves when I was on my long run this weekend are starting to change. So again, you can't fight the inevitable. So some fall decor is in the near future and I'm really, really excited. <sighs> so we're gonna do that. This is getting long. I'm so glad you're here. Continue to hang out with me. Let's get things done. Let's get started. Hold my hair back. She, there's a lot of her. Really need a haircut. I realized I need to start the oven first because it's gonna take a little bit. So we're gonna get the oven on its self-clean setting and then we'll make our way into the living room. It's not bad, they're just like tissue paper. I wanna vacuum off the couch a little bit. There's some crumb action happening. Um, but it shouldn't take too long in there. So let's get the oven started and then we'll go into the living room. Okay, so most of this is actually already pretty loose, which works in our favor. The oven itself is not too bad, so I'm gonna use the steam clean setting here instead of taking a bunch of cleaner. This, it's like damaged down here, this coating. So like, that's not gonna look clean to anybody, but I know it's clean and that's what matters. Everything else though isn't too bad. So we're gonna do the steam clean setting. I really love that feature on this oven. My last oven just made it it just used the broiler and like burned everything up and I looked over once and there was just something in there that was on fire. It was unsettling, but it's clearly dirty in there as you can see, but it's not terrible. I did just clean. Hey, not too long ago, we did a deep clean, so it shouldn't take too long. So with this, I am just taking a damp paper towel, getting the worst of the burnt up crumbs and then turning it on. There is another precision cleaning setting that I'm not gonna use. I think that's the one that catches everything on fire. And I do get all the dust off of this top part. I forgot to record it, but that also gets cleaned. Super gross, but it just says 10 ounces of water. You pour it in, you press start. It's supposed to take 25 minutes and it just kind of steams everything, which is really, really nice. But now we are going to move on to the living room. I'm gonna get everything tidied up and then we will vacuum up the floors. And speaking of floors, 
we're gonna take a little detour and talk about this baby. This is the Presenic F10 Pro. This thing is really, really cool. It is a wet dry vacuum. It's a three in one vacuum mop and wash and it is really nice. It is self propelled. It has a long lasting battery. Plus it has a dual tank system which will keep your dirty water separate from your cleaning water which I really love. One of my favorite things about this system is that it is really, really quiet compared to other wet dry vacuums that I have used. And I do really like that it has different modes and it also has a voice prompt system so that I know what mode I'm in and it walks you through what you need to do like with your self-cleaning mode, lets you know when it is done so that you can empty out the dirty water. This thing is really awesome. It even has this nice filter separator so that when you are done, you can very easily dump out your water and still have whatever garbage that is left over that you can easily put in a garbage can so that that's not also going out with the water, which is also a feature that I really like, that it is one big circle so that it, there's no chance of dumping anything out that you wouldn't want to. It also has three different modes. It has smart mode for regular cleaning, max mode for heavy duty stains, and a suction mode for absorbing liquid, which is really handy. Harley's water bowl often gets spilled and this thing makes quick work of it, takes care of it. I did a few little tests with like normal everyday messes. Plus I added some syrup onto the floor, let it dry and get kind of sticky and gross. It sat there for a couple hours and then also flour, you know, I love to bake. So I dumped those things out, let them sit for a bit and this Thing had no problem with it. It got everything right up. It cleaned up Harley's water bowl spill and it lasted, which was really, really nice. I was able to switch it through the different modes very easily on the digital keypad and it was just very simple. I used the regular mode for the flower. I switched it into heavy duty mode for the syrup and then that suction mode for the spilt water and it was no problem and it lasted the whole time. I did not have to stop and refill anything, which was very handy. This thing can clean up to 970 square feet without interruption and the battery can deliver up to 30 minutes of runtime on a single charge. This is so handy. One of my favorite features is the swivel arm as well. It makes it really easy to maneuver around things like Harley and it's just a slick device. It moves really nicely. It feels like it's really good quality and it sits nicely on the charge base. Other ones I have had to physically plug in once I am done using, but you can just set this right on the charger and it will charge. It will let you know to do a self clean. And then once it's done, it will let you know that it's done so that you will go back and dump out the rest of the water and give it a good rinse. It is really easy to disassemble for cleaning and it comes with this nice cleaning solution and it just works really well. The only thing was it was a little bit fiddly to get the cleaning solution and the water in, but it was fine once I got it all together and the device definitely is good quality and I really enjoy it. I will make sure that it is linked down in the description box for you. And I just wanted to thank Presenic again for sponsoring this video. This is a really cool device. I do really, really like it. It does a really good job. Let me know if you try it out. But with that, we are back to the living room. Before we can get to mopping the floors, we have got to get everything tidied up first. So I am just going to get everything in order in the living room. We've got tissue paper from Hugo's birthday that I want to just fold and save. It's really cute and I didn't want to just throw it away. So I'm going to get this folded up. This bench is kind of messy. We've got video game devices everywhere. So I'm going to tackle in here for a bit. Let me know down in the comments what you have going on. I love hearing from you. I hope that you are doing well, that you're having a good weekend. Let's get this knocked out. I'm laying down at the compiling. Oh no, I see you only when you're balling. I see you in the wild Cause this time I will choose you, yeah Now choose You know exactly how they look like this Holding in a bag full of goods and needs I need a night like this Knowing it's a risk cause you're using it You've got all your secrets I can seem to move this 
Just wanted to point out, I made this birthday sign like eight years ago and I always keep it handy in a drawer and it comes out for every birthday. If you come to my house and it's your birthday, the sign will be up. I love this sign. It has been pretty good. It was my very first like cricket experience and it was so much fun. I love this sign so much and I'm starting to worry that it's gonna break because it's getting older and we have more children, which means more birthdays, but so far it's holding up and I just love having a birthday sign handy for anybody that comes that might have a birthday. It's so much fun. crumbs on the couch I opted to vacuum it and Connor with his big engineer brain fixed my Dyson he replaced the switch and he added this little thing which I will show you in a little bit that keeps it on so you don't have to keep holding the trigger button down because that was what had broken and that like repetitive on off was wearing it out so he put like this metal trigger button in and then he put this little plastic thing on it to hold it down so that I didn't have to do it myself and it is wonderful. I am so thankful that he fixed it and he even put a new battery in it, which if you've been around for a while, that's huge. And I will forever love that man for fixing this for me because I was gonna do it. I was gonna try to figure it out. And he said, you know what, I got this. Uh, he's, a, he's a team player and I really appreciate him for that.
Isn't that cool? It's really handy. I really like it. It's especially nice for the kids because they have a harder time holding down the button and it's a lot easier for them now. But the oven has been beeping at me for like a solid 10 minutes. I didn't want to turn it off just in case I forgot that I was cleaning the oven. But here we are. It's all steamy in there. We need to just get the water up off the bottom and give it a quick wipe down. I'm not worrying about any leftover kind of grease spots. Some of them are just really stuck on there. And that is not the assignment of the day. We're not doing a big deep clean of the oven. This is just a surface level cleaning because it had the burnt on stuff. And this steam mode is really handy for that. So I'm gonna get it all wiped off, get it finished, and then we will continue tidying up the downstairs disaster. It is pretty messy still. Okay, living room is done. The oven is done. I'm gonna clear off the table, get that all wiped down, and then we will tackle the kitchen. It's messy. There's lots of clutter everywhere. But it shouldn't take too long. And then we'll like wipe the counters off and stuff. My stove, let me show you, is disgusting. She needs some love. Look at that. Ew. We're gonna take care of the stove too. That shouldn't take too long. Hopefully. Baby, when you hold me, I rather lost my senses than be lonely. Cause baby, when you touch me, I feel holy. Oh, nothing. This game is so much fun. We absolutely love it. And Hugo, for his birthday from his friend, got him this one, and I'm so excited. Moose Match Mayhem. Oh, I'm excited to play it. Let me know if you've played this one. Somebody also told me that they have like Christmas themed ones that are like sugar cookie snowman or whatever. I'm really excited for that. I'm gonna get it. Oh, it's gonna be fun. the lights were that dusty I would have dusted them first but they got dusted in the end and the table didn't end up too bad I need to get the tray cleaned off I love having this tray here because it is good to kind of keep the chaos contained like the little things that end up on the counter it's nice to be able to just put them on the tray stuff that I'm gonna come back to like these books uh, pen my list that kind of stuff but it's still 
it looks kind of nice and it keeps it contained and I don't have to put it in a drawer. I'm very much out of sight, out of mind. I will forget if I put something in a drawer that's important, like my list. So having that tray there is really, really nice. But I'm gonna just keep getting everything cleared up. We're gonna tackle the dishwasher here. I need to get the filter cleaned off uh, from inside the dishwasher. I try to stay on top of that just so it doesn't get too much backup. We just replaced the dishwasher and I am determined to make sure that we don't get a hole burned in the bottom of this one. I think that the odds are in my favor because this one's metal on the inside, but it's also me. So you never know. It's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks Wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's that happy girl that I know with a heart on fire? are done sink is clean i'm just gonna put the filter back if you're curious our new dishwasher this one's a bosch i think it's an 800 series i don't totally remember the filter has a few more pieces than my last one which was a whirlpool and don't get me wrong the whirlpool it was a good dishwasher it washed the dishes the only issue was that there was a hole in the bottom and my floors were at stake so I had to make a decision and it was a new dishwasher. I am just gonna get the front of this cleaned and make one of the best discoveries of the day. You will understand if you are like me and really like peeling things off of things. That sounds weird, but you'll get it in a second. <gasps> There's a whole plastic film here that we never took off. <gasps> I'm gonna regret it later, but now it's gonna be the best thing that ever happened to me. <gasps> oh boy. Wait, is it supposed to come off? Yes. Oh, my beautiful friends. Okay. We gotta make it. Okay. Oh! 
a good day. Okay, dishwasher dishes are done. We're gonna move on to the stove. It is disgusting. I do have to say, while I was cleaning out the sink, I did get a message from Hugo's school and they just released the school supplies list. So I'm not crazy. It is happening. And our school district starts super late and always feels like it takes forever. I never thought I would be so excited to see a school supply list. Also, Hugo got a lightsaber for his birthday. And I think there's a Jedi upstairs right now. Very exciting. Big things are happening today. Big things are happening. Finally tackling the stovetop. I'm just gonna use the Dawn Power Wash. I like to use a wet sponge, get all of the soap, just coating everything, and then I will let it sit for a while sometimes to really break down everything. The Dawn Power Wash does a really good job of breaking down grease and oils and working quickly. Uh, so I like to scrub it around, make sure it's coating everything, let it sit for a while, and then I scrub it all in again and then I use two microfiber cloths. I use one to get all of the soap off, then I rinse it, wipe everything off to make sure I have all of the soap off, and then I polish it with a dry, clean microfiber cloth. This method works really, really well for me. This shows, this one shows a lot of the burnt on scuffs and everything, and this is the best way I can like keep it from looking really, really streaky and keeping it clean. As you can see, it was pretty gross, so it was definitely worth taking the time to do. the stove clean we are almost done i'm going to switch out my paper towel here on my kerhig this thing catches all of the drips and it makes keeping the tray clean a lot easier i am going to just finish doing this get the counters wiped off and then we need to clean the floors and we're going to bust out the prosthetic again and get everything tidied up but we are almost done this has been very worth taking the time to do. I feel like my mind is relaxing with each thing that's cleaned up. When it's really, really messy and chaotic, I get really overwhelmed. And with three kids, it's kind of inevitable. Messes are gonna happen even if you don't have kids, but I definitely just feel so much more calm and collected when things are tidied up and staying on top of it has definitely helped me stay a little bit more chill during summer break with all of the noise and the chaos that's always happening with the kids. is a year-round 
hot chocolate drinker and every day there's little sticky hot chocolate spots everywhere and her green dinosaur if you can see him there on the counter that's squishy he is beloved by alice connor put an air tag in him because he was constantly going missing before bedtime and it has been the greatest thing we could have done for our sanity was putting an air tag in squishy because he's probably the most important thing in the house to alice he's adorable but it's time to clean the floors. We are almost done. I hope that you have been hanging in there with me, that you've been able to get your stuff done. Let's finish up. You just gotta trust the right. You don't have to be scary. You just gotta follow the light. You're able to be happy. is everything that I have for you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I so appreciate it. I hope you found this motivating. It was really nice to get things cleaned and decluttered and just back in order after all of the insanity with Hugo's birthday. And I just feel so much more calm. If you aren't already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. It really helps my channel out. Plus, I would just love for you to continue to hang out with me. I so hope you're doing well. I'll see you next time. Bye.